What happens when you have a full mobile mechanic service and the truck that you use is out of commission? Yes, the trunk too. Well, my truck will be back up soon. I gotta get work into it. But until then, what's going on world? It's your man, Pat Caesar, Caesar LLC, mobile mechanic and roadside services. And today I'm getting into a little bit of welding. Henceforth, why I got this big piece of exhaust sitting in my old school Corolla. R -r -r Corolla. <laughs> and uh, what we gonna do, I got a homie that hit me up and say, yo bro, uh, can you weld? I'm like, yeah, I'm not, you know, the best at it, but I can make sure it ain't gonna leak. He's like, cool, don't even care how it looks. Just need you to get this weld together. We have flex, flex pipe, it did not hold. Can you do something for me? I'm like, yeah, absolutely, bro. I got to the house this morning, then I realized I forgot my saw, I forgot, I don't, I, God damn, I still forgot my safety glasses. I forgot my safety glasses, but I got everything else. So I will make this work, but I forgot blades, I forgot my sawzall, I forgot my grinder, I forgot everything henceforth because all this stuff is usually in my actual truck, not my car, because I can't do anything besides drive in the car. But we're gonna get to some exhaust today, um, show you guys a little bit of um, how to weld, how to properly, and I had to go pick up a couple of these, how to use a pipe extender um, so we can end up having the, 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 the pipe flushly in there. We're gonna clean it up, we're gonna make it good, and uh, we're gonna go above and beyond and make sure that this thing is perfect, perfect. <laughs> we're gonna get into it, y'all, right after the intro. So, so this is what we got. This is the piece we're gonna be welding up, okay? So as you can see, this is double layered. So I got a pipe expander. I'm gonna show you guys how to use that. And uh, we're gonna put essentially another pipe over it and then weld around here. We're not really, I not have to worry about leaks because this actually is one piece inside of the exhaust okay and now i'm trying to figure out the best solution to making this happen to use because the other side i'll show you right here all right this side right here that bolt on the very top is stripped out uh so i think what i'm gonna try to do is cut this here and then weld on a new part with a flange. So that's, I'm trying to figure out the game plan. And once I have it all tacked up, I'll be able to do it. I'll put everything back. So it'll, it'll be a little bit, it's gonna be a process, but we're gonna make this work. So this is the ultimate running what you brung because this blade is about done. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to cut this anyway, see if I can at least get this thing to work one last time. Ooh, that is pretty bad. I just went and got some new blades, so no worries. Well, at least it worked as a placeholder. But there's no point in staying out here all day with that. Here, do, do, do. All right, here we go. how much of that trunk I took off of that well you might be wondering well Pat why would you cut with a wood um, 
<clears throat> a wood blade instead of a instead of a metal one it's only because i have one pack of blades right now that i cannot find my other pack and uh, i don't want to use it just yet so i am going to use it eventually though so don't get that twisted i will use it just not right now so all right trying to show like okay this is the process that i'm going through and blah 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 mm -hmm. all right so mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. I'm using a wood, um, what's the name? Because when you buy the packs, they always come with more damn wood than metal. No, I'll make it work. Take you five seconds with that, it's true it's true i just try i never have a use for the wood ones and every time i buy a pack that's exactly what happens i'm gonna pick that up so the dogs don't get it the, uh, the teeth there. yeah it's huge that's why it don't work i mean and i know it too but i just hate to just i literally have them sitting man <laughs> i'll never i'll never use them for anything all right now, Y'all see how big of a difference and how clean it makes it too. It's a night and day damn difference. Uh, that shit will just come on up with it. That ain't gonna work. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You definitely you gotta be careful. Um, uh, matter of fact, let me just. Can I turn it? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see if that's any better. I'm gonna try to keep my hand away. All right, yeah, that's better. That's better. <laughs> Got to watch that hand. That does make so much more sense. Yep. All right. Damn. So I could use this wood blade for the next 20 minutes or get one metal blade. Spend just a few seconds. Thank you, sir. All right. Here it is. Okay. Now, sits like this. So we have to remember which way it sits and do that. So instead of, uh, okay. So instead of boring y'all with the next few minutes of this, I'm gonna just go ahead and get these cuts right and I'll jump back on when we start to do the welding. All right, so we're making our way down and just finished getting done welding. Now, like I say, this ain't the prettiest, but it will hold and that's our game plan. Hold it without leaking. You can see on the inside, we did not even puncture it. And that's the game plan because that's some really thin metal right there, okay? So we're gonna get back underneath the car. I'm going to do some uh, markings, make sure that we got it all set and ready to go, and then cut off the next piece and weld that up. All right, so y'all know it's safety first, man, and uh, I've been down here. I just finished welding up this piece. Yeah, I know it doesn't look all that great, but I promise you it will not leak. And that is the main goal here. So uh, to get to the top of this, man, you want to pull the exhaust down. It's better to pull it all the way out. Uh, this is a solid state piece here, though. So I have no other way to do it besides dropping the entire exhaust, which we're not going to do. Uh, we're going to drop the front part, though, and weld this next portion. So I'm going to try to get as much action as possible recorded so you guys can see what I'm talking about. It's very hard to do this and weld, though, uh, especially being that... Uh, it's not it's a tight space All right. okay okay so um i got my gloves over there and i just have this gently on this is still hot on the other side here so pull the exhaust 
And first, we're just going to tack it in a couple places. But you know what? I got one more thing I want to do. Let me show you guys how to use a pipe extender. Hold on one second. All right, y'all. So this is a pipe extender, okay? And what I'm going to do essentially is just like this, put this in here and then use this 11 sixteenths. And I'll just show you on this one as a demonstration. Got to get a lift. All right, and you hit it and you can see, let me turn it this way so you can see it's gonna expand. Come on, there we go. Uh -oh. Ow, very tight fit in here y'all, so I apologize. So lefty loosey, righty tighty. We're gonna get it like right there so you guys can see it. Once it's engaged, you go ahead and hit it up. I don't want to break this bead. And that's it. Loosen it back down. And it goes out flared a little bit. So we're going to do that same thing. Uh, to this. Hope you can see that like that. There we go. So I'm gonna flare this one to help it fit in the inside of this one in an attempt to make sure it does not leak. And this one actually doesn't have any burrs, it's been pretty clean, pretty good. So got it tight. Fit inside. Nope, but it did butt that up really nice though. I do want it to go inside, so let's try it one more time. didn't quite do exactly what I wanted it to and that's okay I did want this to fit inside but I think it's just too close in diameter so okay no go on that well it did work on the other part I should have probably measured it with a micrometer first I have the micrometer but you see now at least I'm gonna be able to get my weld really close I did want this to seep in uh, to make sure it did not leak but uh, it just means i'm about to throw some extra fat welds on here hey b hey b thank you for pollinating the earth i appreciate your services don't sting me though and i also like your honey yeah i like your honey a lot peace b peace <sighs> try to get it away i don't want it to sting me i also don't want it to get hurt so either way uh i'm gonna try to set this here so you guys can end up seeing some of this welding action and 
try to set it far enough back to where it does not catch any of those sparks and uh, we're just gonna first tack it up and then uh, weld it from there. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, so we down to the welding right now, and uh, it's been taking a, a while to get... All right, so we got the pipe on. We had to put it back underneath the car and um, do some measurements, make sure my lines are straight so you see these lines. Now, I just threw one little tack on here, so I figured I'd go ahead and stop so I could show you guys. Uh, and I'm going to... You see there's a lot of gap in between here, so it's going to be a little bit hard to get that gap filled, but the game plan is, is to not weld per se these together and fuse them but throw a weld here throw a weld here and then bridge that together so that's the game plan y'all just stay tuned and um enjoy the show uh -oh. GoPro. there you go kind of hard to do this with welding gloves on if you never use welding gloves you don't understand how hard it can be mm, ready and don't mind the hole in my pants i know y'all can see that but it's all right i've been explaining these pants all morning I'm just throwing tacks in right now. Y'all can see how big that gap is right there. Show y'all what we're gonna do. Perfect. This is gonna be the hardest part right here. I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit. Come back here. Now my weld is not the prettiest, but I'm gonna show you guys. So you see how big this gap is? It's gonna be very hard. Now I couldn't get it any more flush because of the way that this pipe sits in here. I had already cut it at an angle, but what I'm gonna do, as you can see there, is I'm gonna weld both sides and then throw a weld around the whole thing so it doesn't, and it's not gonna worry about it leaking, but I wanna make sure that I give it the best opportunity to not do so either. So I'm basically gonna take this and then keep piggybacking on top of that to fill that whole wit weld. All right, so after much cutting, grinding, um, and welding, what time is it now? Man, I've been over here for hours. It's 2.22, 2.22 um i'm ready to crank it up i think i may have a spot or two i'm gonna have to hit uh, on this line like right here right here hopefully the top is good i couldn't bring it all the way down um because i don't have any way to drop that whole exhaust and uh put it back up in a fashionable way and i don't have a flange here that's what we really needed to cut this and add flange on both ends but uh we're gonna crank it up and see how it is see how many spots I got to fix. You got the key on you? Okay. Nope. Hold it right there. Here is solid.
All right, y'all, so I got my areas. I think I oil leak pretty bad. I got my areas that I'm about to go ahead and grind down and re-hit. And uh, I get back to it. But for the most part, it's in there. It's in there. So I hope y'all like the video. Like, share, subscribe. I'll get more content coming out. Oh, gas. I need to go check this out. It smell like gas under here, dog. It's got a gas leak somewhere? It smell like gas. Like, it ain't oil. It's definitely gas. We're going to get back to this, y'all. Until next time, mi gente. Be pro mundo beneficio. Peace.